I'm happy to to uh, have this date today on on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So, what are we going to talk about, Roland? Yeah, I think uh, I think the most important, most interesting thing is why I, as a GSAX, is playing uh, the the five reads since over 20 years now. You know, I am I'm, I'm a kind of saxophonist who has. I don't know, dozens of mouthpieces, dozens of different reads. I try everything new, which is which comes out. I also try different legers and, and uh, different other kinds of uh, reads, but um, there's nothing compared to the fiber reads. Um, and I'm very happy that we had the time to come together and design a read, which I think will fit most people, most saxophonists. I just uh, said, uh, just uh, Bruno Sperry. Bruno Sperry is one of the, the grand seigneur of saxophone in Switzerland. And uh, he told me he has um, ordered one of the new G-Sax carbon fiber reeds and he's very happy. It sounds also a little bit warmer than the prior uh, design. And me too, I have it on tenor and I have it on alto and I use very, um, not, not special mouthpieces, I have Maya Hard Rubber 7 on both and this works very well. It's, it's always a matter of taste, but um, I think the new reads have a good combination of um, crispy sound, but uh, enough warmness, you know. So most of this um, artificial, these synthetic reads, they are perhaps uh, too, uh, how you say, too sharp, you know, not mm -hmm. warm. So I can just I can play a few tones. Now I have to play it over, <laughs> over the iPhone because, um, as I t told you, the whole studio stuff doesn't work here in Instagram. But you can, you can you get a little idea. It's also the new fiber reed uh, carbon with the with this traditional cut. We as we know it from the um, uh, reeds, the classic reeds. <laughs> And this is now an MS read I use. Uh, if you want to have it a little, little bit warmer, then I, I, would, I, would, I would choose an M read. So well, if MS uh, is a medium soft, which Me is yeah. about the strength number is uh, two. equivalent to number 2.0. Yes, 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 yes. But you can also play high notes. It, it works on, on the whole range, works very well. And here on the, on the alto saxophone, I have uh, the, the newest one I got from you. Uh, I, this time I took a M read because I like it a little bit uh, rounder, warmer. Just to get an idea, I don't know how it sounds here uh, on <laughs> on uh, on uh, Instagram, but um, yeah. Well, you're playing with the read since twenty years, so it yeah. should. Sound too bad because otherwise <laughs> the people wouldn't hire you again. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yes. So I, I, I want to say something about the the history because mm -hmm. um, twenty years is a long time, and uh, since that time the carbon reed has some uh, development. Uh, yeah. As you can see here in the back, this is mm -hmm. the other carbon reed which we are selling uh, a, a lot. This is uh, one of our most sold read. And as you can see, the stripes are straight. So this is a different cut. Yeah. Uh, the, the, or the cut which we had in the very beginning. Was this exactly. Here you see the, the read, yeah. the difference of the read, which uh, is the straight here and it's curved on the, on the G sex. So the the original the first carbon read I made, uh, uh, which was about twenty years ago, 
uh, has uh, this this uh, curved cut like yes yes like it has like it is here. And Just a second, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I think you have some original. I, th I think I, th I think I have I have, I have a read which uh, is. 20 years old. Oh. <laughs> this was a special cut, you know. You can you you you, you remember? Oh yes, 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 yes. This this kind of cut, and it had not so many layers like the new ones. It has just a few layers. Oh yes, I remember this cut, and yeah. we, uh, the, the problem was that the layers were not fixed, so there were sometimes a little more up and a little more yeah. down. Then yeah. you, you had to be lucky to find a good one. And mm -hmm. to have more continuity uh, in in the quality, we had to put some more layers inside. Yeah, yeah. So you see it with the difference from the new G sex read and uh, one of the first yes. old reads. Yes, yes. And then also the cut is uh, has the slight differences in, in the cut. You know that makes a lot of uh, uh, which is very important for the sound. Well, then uh, we I found out that the 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 curved cut is not necessary for for our material because uh, it's necessary for the cane material because the wood of the cane is a little softer in the middle of the reed because it's it's cut out of a circle of this uh, of this Lovely, cane yeah. mm -hmm. so the and the, the 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 wood which is closer to the bark of the material is harder and Uh, the 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 wood of the cane reed in the middle of the reed is softer than the 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 wood in the outside part in the rails left and right so that's why i thought okay that's why the cane reed has to be curved and my material is all over the same so i don't need that and that's why i designed this carbon reed and it really worked very well and we had that over many many years and we still have it we still sell that reed Uh, but Roland, all the time, he says, "Oh yes, it's it's nice, but I prefer I prefer the other one." So I made exclusively for him. I produced the the old cut because, uh, well, he 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 is making a living out of it. It's very he's all, all the Roland all the time says, "Oh, the reed is for me. Everything is is built around the reed. The reed is the most important thing." Yeah. Because it makes my sound together with me and my, yeah. my body and my mouth and my embouchure. Yeah. And everything else, mouthpiece and saxophone mm. has to be uh, is second and third. So yeah. we made this read. And uh, since uh, two years, we started the new artist series, which is uh, in cooperation with endorsers and artists of Fiber Read. And... Um, Then we thought, oh, that's a great idea. We can make this read, which we make exclusively for Roland for many years, now available for everybody. So yeah. we came together, Roland came here, and we did some uh, further fine tuning. And now it's finished. And well, we had to design a new box with a new color and everything. But now it's done. and. Uh, yeah. It's available since uh, uh, since first uh, of February, yes. so about yes. two weeks. For me, a very inter interesting thing is uh, I changed my style of sound in these 20 years. As I started, as we started collaborating together, I played, had the Sanborn sound, I had the Dukov, you know, the metal Dukov, and I wanted it very, very crispy. So the carbons have been perfect then. And now, as we uh, worked on the new read, my, my, my feeling for the sound changed in these 20 years. I like more the warm, the round sound, not too crispy. And so this read works very well. And then there's another read, uh, which I like to mention, the read of uh, Rodrigo. Uh, how is it called? R&B something? RPL. Well, the RPL, yeah. The read is yeah. a, a read which looks in the first moment very similar to the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. G-Sex, but it's, uh, it's still a, a very big difference because uh, it, the, the, the angle of the read, it's, mu it's much steeper. So yeah. in the, the tip, it's very th much thinner than the G-Sex, but 
it's getting uh, uh, more thick, mm -hmm. faster. Yeah. So yeah. the the angle and the uh, how the uh, the uh, how the read is getting thicker is faster is quicker in the in the RPL read. Mm -hmm. So that sounds more uh, dark. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I think it's uh, it's a fantastic that we have these different. Um, uh, signature reads. So I, I, I think it's a good idea to try both, you know, you can try the G-Sex read or you can try the, the other reads from Rodrigo and see what works best, you know. But uh, the point is, I, 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 um, I have a lot of videos on, on Facebook, on Instagram and YouTube. And so, so people who work in a similar way like me, so in a little bit more jazz or pop field, have an idea how these reads sound. So it's a good idea to say, okay, I listen to, let's say, G-Sex clips and I like this, the sound. And I think in the combination with, um, let, let's say for Maya, but also metal mouthpiece, it works very well. Uh, try MS or try M and see what happens. Yeah. So I have different uh, people who follow me, people follow <laughs> followers who really uh, checked out this combination of mouthpiece and read and are very happy. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. And do you sometimes work on the reads, Roland? Yeah, yeah, sometimes, yes, yes. Uh, th the way you told me with a little bit sandpaper. I use, but perhaps you can't. You can say more about this. But I work some, sometimes just to make it a little bit lighter. Perhaps, yes. I never oh, touch the read. I, I make it lighter. So, yeah. So I will show it uh, here. Use take the chance. So I took the read out of the box. So mm -hmm. when you want to to make the read uh, a little bit harder, you can work here. I have a. a, yes. a a paper, it's great, 1000. Mm -hmm. I'm using, so here in our production, we use the, the grain uh, 400, uh, six, six, uh, this is 600 and 1000. So the, when you work here on the tip, you use the usually only the 1000 and you can make it uh, like this. So around, around you can smoothen it a little bit. You can make it, give it a little different shape. Yeah. Uh, if you want to make it fitting perfect with your mouse piece yeah. tip, you can do that. And if you make it, if you want to make it shorter, if you want to make it shorter, a little more fast or a little, then you can use the 600, but I wouldn't take the 400 for that. And then uh, when you want to make it softer, you can use 400 or 600 and work here on, on this yeah. part. Yeah. And yeah. You, use, you use some flat surface like a piece of glass or uh, whatever you can find, uh, natural stone. It doesn't matter. It has to be flat. That's the most important. And then you can wor work on... Uh, like just on the tip yeah just on the tip and yeah. make it a little softer and the attack uh if it's uh the attack is a little bit hard and you want to have an easier attack uh and, and but you you don't want to lose the strength of the read so you have yeah. to work really on on the first uh yeah. day on, on this on, on this part yeah mm -hmm. on this part here the first yeah. Uh, two not on the heart yeah millimeters yeah, yeah. if you if you go a little further here the, the the sound will be more bright yeah yeah that's true it's like do you work on the usual classic um reads you know how we say in the the holds is up on the holds plate that is up on the pain you the same the same work on cane yeah. reads yes yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, I, I have a chat here, so I will I will have a look. Uh, Martino is here. Yeah, Jorge, Oliveira. I will see if we have any questions. 
but uh, yeah. okay. Oh, Marquinho sucks from Brazil. Great, yeah. Hi, Hi Harry. Nice to hear you. <laughs> Hi, Marquinho. Good to hear you too. So if anybody has a question, uh, you can write it to the into the chat okay, and yeah. we, will, we will answer the question. Sure. Yeah. My question, which I have, are you planning to extend the series? Now we have the alto and tenor series. Are you planning to extend it to soprano or baritone? Perhaps this could be a question someone will have sooner or later. You're sure. I, that's always, uh, there are uh, some people who play soprano and baritone. And mm -hmm. yeah, I think we should do that. Uh, we are now, yeah. we are, uh, we have the same situation with the RPL read. Yeah. Uh, uh, I made a soprano already. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, Rodrigo is very happy. He was oh, really? in yeah. the United States. He yeah. was uh, meeting Preston Duncan, mm -hmm. uh, a, a leger uh, endorser, <laughs> but he, he liked it very much. Well, I, I cannot... I yeah. cannot tell everything here because maybe Leger <laughs> will not like what I say, but uh, I can say he, he liked to read the, the RPL very much. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, also the Soprano, I think it's, it's uh, well, they say it's a great read and it's the best Soprano read ever. But it, yeah. it's not what I, I, uh, I just repeat what they say, but we, I have, what I have to do now, we have one strength. I have to make a, a, the different strengths now, which is some kind of work. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, but the, the basic soprano RPL read is ready. So I know um, how I, I can, I will do it with the G sax. So how we mm -hmm. come to the, how I can transfer the cut from the, uh, which we have or like on the alto read to to transfer it to the soprano. Yeah, it would be interesting. I think the problem with the, sopr the problem with the soprano is that the soprano sound um, tends to be a little bit too bright, too me, me, too too nosy. Or so, how should I say? I think uh, when I play soprano, I like to find a, a warm round tone, like uh, Jane Ira Bloom or, or Steve Lacey, this kind of sound. And I can imagine, yes, we can work on this, but also the RPL read could be very interesting to check it out because I know uh, Rodrigo is uh, playing a lot of classical music and there we have the, the, another sound concept than in pop or jazz. It's yes, the, with the RPL read, it's uh, mm -hmm. the classical players, they have the classical mouthpieces like from, yeah. from uh, Rousseau, NC4, or yeah. the, the Selmer S80 or the Van Doren. Yeah. And, uh, they usually use a 3.0 or mm -hmm. 3.3 yeah. and a quarter, which is like a, a, a three Media plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, we have uh, a quarter strength in the RPL read. We oh, have okay. 3.25 and the 3.5. Yeah. But only, oh, yeah. only this the three point two five is the only quarter strings, because it, it doesn't. I don't want to have too many strings. I think it's uh, makes no you, sense. Yeah. You get mad if you have uh, all the quarter strings. It's too much. Yeah. To yeah. to also for the shops and the distributor. Yeah. It's really, and also for us uh, to make yeah. so many different yeah. strings. Uh, but this three and a quarter, it's really uh, something important because the many, many classical players use this three or three and, a, uh, three and a quarter, and some are using three and a half. But for if you use uh, uh, this RPL read with a softer strength, like a two and two and a half, it fits very good to the jazz mouthpieces as well. Can you so, imagine? So we have to, 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 to look uh, how about the, the G sax fits sure. to our mouthpieces. Everybody sure. has to find out and, and try. Yeah. 
the uh, how is the combination with my mouse piece? Sure. I mean, the the good thing here in Fiberread is that we accept that the uh, customers uh, send the reads back to us. So oh, this okay. is the That's service. Great. Usually mm -hmm. nobody does the service that you can return a used read. But mm -hmm. this is what we are doing because we know the people have to test the read. So we accept the people can buy a read without paying it. I mean, uh, in Germany, if you order it internationally, you have to pay. But anyway, if you return it to us, you get the, the full money back, 100%. Mm -hmm. So the people have the chance to order reads here and uh, they can try, they can find out if they're working good or not and and uh, or order a couple of reads and just uh, keep the ones they really like best. Mm -hmm. do, will you have this do you have this distribution here in Europe in Switzerland Germany or so? Do you have this super how do you say it? <laughs> the distribution well uh, the the we have uh, in in uh, Europe uh, Musikhaus Thoman, Thoman yes. online shop is That's one great. of the, the biggest and they mm -hmm. are selling all over Europe and also oh, fantastic, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, they will they don't have the cheese acts now yeah in the moment uh, it's only here in our online shop sure. and yeah. but we have distributors in in Switzerland so we have uh, the company Markandella mm -hmm. uh, but it will take a little time Sure. Until they have it in uh, available, because this is a distributor, and uh, I don't know uh, to which shops he he will uh, send the read. So uh, the only thing which I can say for sure, you can order it here in our online shop, and uh, also the other shops like uh, Toman. They, as far as I know, they don't take back reads which are played. So this is only possible here at Fiverr. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you have to des disinfect it so and work on it. I don't know. I don't know what. Yeah, can imagine it's not not so easy. Okay, yes. I have here mm -hmm. one question, Roland. What do you like about the carbon material over the other fibered materials? Or did you? Oh, yeah, you played also the 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 hemp material yeah. oh sure yeah, yeah it's really it's the way it sounds and it's the way it um he i think for me in the center is the sound you know if i feel really happy with the sound then i stay with the read i use uh, the other thing also which i like um that's the carbon reads you can uh, you can work on them like um like the the hand, we sagen diese hast du schon gesagt der Rohrblatt diese gewöhnliche I can read you can work it like can read they are very very similar uh, I tried everything I tried also the copper I tried hemp and the, it's you know they have different uh, different character of sound so it's a very individual thing so I, I so for a certain time I also tried the hemp and I worked a little bit on it but came back to the carbon because. My, the sound for my, my, my personal sound concept works best with carbons. And so I have, I have also I'll have to say too that everyone has another idea, another sound concept. And you, but if you find, as I had, the, the, I was lucky to find the carbons, if you find it, then there's no reason to change. So that's the reason that I played in more than 20 years uh, nearly the same concept of read. Yeah. Okay, That's something, important. something yeah. important uh, I uh, forgot to say about the distribution. Of yeah. course, we have a distribution in, in the United States. Oh. We have uh, uh, Danny, our good friend and yeah. saxophone player, Danny, Danny Hoffman from Newport Beach. He has, uh, uh, he's, has an online shop. It's called Fiber Read USA. So it's yeah. really in one word, Fiber Read USA. And uh, so if you are in the United States, it's best to, to go to Danny's online shop and order your G-Sax read there. And uh, Danny is also 
uh, you can also return reads to Danny because mm -hmm. we are like uh, we are very close cooperating together mm -hmm. since many years and uh, so from the United States you you order from the fiber USA and if you are in Europe you order from our fiberread.com or fiberread.de shop. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will. Um, I will uh, post a video tomorrow for Valentine's Day. Oh, and there, and there I will play tenor, and there I will use um, the Carbon G6 MS on my Maya Seven. So, if you have a look tomorrow on, f on Facebook or on Instagram or YouTube, you will find it there. Uh, the links to my social media accounts you will find on my website. It's called gsex.ch. Yeah. So if we wanna, if wanna have a uh, an actual recording. Yeah. Oh, great! So uh, let's see if we have any more questions. Yes. Or anything? Some if somebody has want to know something, please you can. Write it into the comments. I will. I can read the comments here, and we will answer your questions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anything else uh, we have to say? Between... Just thinking about. Yeah, the only thing we can say just try it out. You know, I just can speak about my long time experience with this kind of reads, and also. What, what, what I also want to say is the interesting of you, Hari, that you are interested to support us artists and listen to us artists and work on it. It's, it's, there's also a, a certain personal touch, which I very appreciate. Yes, well, the same on my side. I'm very happy that we met each other. And uh, I, I like the long-term cooperation because you, you know each other, you, you get you trust uh, to each other. And uh, it's it's really a wonderful cooperation which we have, uh, and I'm I'm very uh, grateful about that. Yeah. Oh, well, one other thing, yeah, ja, Marquinho just said, uh, I'm excited to try the new model you will bring to the NEM show. Yes, we. Uh, yeah. That's something we have to say. We are at two shows in the near future. We have the show in Germany. It's yeah. you know the the you, Musikmesse Frankfurt was uh, unfortunately died. Yeah. Yes, it's yeah. not there anymore. We had the, it has a 40th uh, jubilee, uh, but it was just a Corona starting. So unfortunately, the 40th jubilee didn't happen, and after that, they didn't try it uh, anymore. Yeah. And now, at the same time, we have uh, uh, a show in Nuremberg, the music uh, messe in. Nuremberg, and it's on the weekend to, uh, of March 24 to 26. So we have a booth with Fiber Read in uh, Nuremberg at the Musik Messe, which is uh, a part of the Spielwaren Messe. <laughs> the, 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 uh, translate, you can say the the toys, uh, the toys show, mm -hmm. the, the exhibition for for toys very big nuremberg is very famous for making toys and uh there's one hall is uh, or a few halls are for musical instruments and we will have a booth over there and oh, great of course we will have the g sax available there and everybody is welcome to test the new g sax suite Two. and uh, the other show is the nam show which is uh, on april 14 to 16 in anaheim uh, near Los Angeles and uh, the same situation there. Everybody is welcome to come there. Well, it's it's the difference is in the NAM show. It's not so easy to to get into it because it's all, it's closed only for for real professional uh, mm -hmm. people who have shop owners or professional musicians. Uh, but uh, we have some uh, free. Uh, uh, artists uh, cards so if anybody wants to uh, visit us uh, just write an email to us and we can make it uh, happen 
Uh, okay, we have one more question from uh, Juan Gutierrez. What about the onyx cane? Yeah. The onyx cane in general. I don't understand this question. What do you mean with onyx cane? I mean, uh, the, we have the onyx fiber reed. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. In, it's this, I think. Well, the onyx, the onyx, the difference of the onyx is that uh, it's made in a different way. To to do a fiber reed like this, or like this, or like this, it's it's a really really hard work because it's a long long process. Uh, we, we buy the fibers, we make material of the fibers, we cut it, and it's a lot of process, and it takes so much time that uh, we, we, we hardly earned money for the... Uh, it was really a small, small... Because it's so much work, and you cannot yeah. sell it... You, you should sell it for 100 euro, yeah. then that would be the, the right price, but yeah. I don't want to do that. So then I thought... I. I want to develop a reed which is uh, lower in the production and still sounds very good. Mm -hmm. That's why I developed the onyx reed, which is a molded reed. That means all the uh, uh, about 50% of the process we do in one step because we mold the material. Mm -hmm. So instead of the of the the long longitudinal longitudinal endless fiber we are using in the onyx and also in the copper carbon classic um, small cutted fiber and uh, that's make it possible to mold the reed and uh, make it uh, cheaper in the sales price it still sounds really good the only thing which i have to say the onyx and the copper carbon they are a little more breakable, so you have to be really uh, careful. The 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 carbon and the onyx and all these reeds with the fibers they are really strong, and you can do things like that, which you shouldn't do with the cane reed because it's broken. But it's it's nothing; it doesn't make anything. You can play it, but you cannot do that with uh, onyx reed because it will break. So. Be careful with the onyx. If you use it just in a normal way and not this, uh, doing these strange things to the reed, it will last for a very long time too. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah, fantastic. Okay. So, so I think if we don't get, I don't see any more questions. So uh, we yeah. will close our live chat here. Yes. So thank, you. thank you, Roland. It was my pleasure to see you online. <laughs> One more time. Always a pleasure to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, if anybody has any more questions, you are very welcome to write an email, go to our website, go to fiberread.com or go to fiberreadusa.com and uh, Danny or I, we will answer you the questions. Mm -hmm. Thank oh, you. Marquinho, yeah, thank you all. Yeah. Thank so, you for contributing, Kevin. Have you. a good time. And bye bye. Bye. <laughs>